Hello. Today I want to train you on how to do scouting or how to monitor pests and diseases in your crop, mostly in capsicum crop. And uh, I'll, I'll start with diseases, how to monitor different diseases that usually bothers a uh, capsicum crop. And one, I'll start with a very disturbing disease known as powder mildew. And powder mildew is usually associated with hot and dry condition. When uh, you're experiencing hot and dry weather, be assured or uh, you must be proactive in order to curb podal mildew. Uh, podal mildew. And podal mildew usually attacks the top part of the leaf. And in most cases, it attacks leaves from the bottom to the top. So uh, if you want to know uh, it's attacking you, you have to look, uh, to look at, uh, at leaves, the holder leaves going up ones. Uh, and powder mildew is a uh, grayish, uh, is grayish in color, grayish powder. When when you are making observation or when, when you are monitoring your crop, you'll see at at the top of every leaf there is a grayish powder on the top of it, and uh, that usually uh, is powder mildew. And from powder mildew, there is another disease known as downy mildew, and downy mildew as the name suggests it attacks the lower part of the leaf. And in order to know a uh, uh, downy mildew has attacked your, your crop, one, the weather, the weather that favors downy mildew is cold and moist air. If uh, it's very cold and the greenhouse is, has a lot of moisture or the humidity is very high, be assured that you may end up being uh, attacked by downy mildew. Also, downy mildew, it attacks the lower part of the, of the leaf. So every time you are doing your scouting or you are doing your monitoring, you have to turn the leaf at the lower side, see whether you can spot a, a grayish powder on the lower uh, surface of the leaf, and not only one leaf, you have to, to to you have to look at as many leaves as possible because uh, when scouting, we usually subdivide our greenhouse. You can have as many scouting uh, point as possible. In order now to be able to see, to, to monitor and to see what may end up bothering you. From the diseases, we come now to pests. Pests are also a, a big bother to capsicum. And the first pest we look at is a red spider mite, which is uh, which really disturbs the, the, the crop. And the red spider mite uh, also attacks the crop from the lower side of the crop, of, of the plant, and also... From the lower side of the leaves. So when when you are scouting, when you are monitoring, you want to know whether your your crop is attacked by red spider mite. You have to look at the lower side of the every leaf, uh, in every scouting station that you have you have, you have allocated. So red spider mite sometimes are not visible using naked eyes. So you can use a lens or you can take your smartphone, take a good picture of the lower side of the leaf, then expand. And see, expand the picture uh, in your phone and see whether you can see some red spots or red paste that are, uh, that are on the leaves. From lead spider mite, we go now to drips. Drips are also a, a big bother because they usually attack the flowers. And our main interest when we are producing, when we are in capsicum production, we, we, really we, we are so much interested with flowers because... They end up forming good food. So uh, our uh, uh, drips, uh, they are first seen on our flowers. So when you are monitoring, when you want to, to scout on drips, you have to come opening the flowers, see whether there is uh, blackish, yellowish, or whitish uh, paste that are moving. If you cannot see any, you can tap. You can tap the leaf. You can own the crop and tap the leaves. Using a white substance or, no, or if you are an expert, you can use your hand to see whether there is any pest that is moving. If there isn't, you can also use your camera, take a good photo, take a good uh, photo of the of the flower and see whether you'll be able to see them. Then expand the photo and see whether you'll be able to uh, to see the pest. Another thing in order now to, to, to avoid uh, pests in your greenhouse, you have to... Uh, you have to, to make sure your greenhouse is very clean. One, 
clean from from weeds should it should be weed free because some of the some of the weeds that that are in the greenhouse or in your farm uh, uh really uh, attract pests so make sure you avoid all weeds in your greenhouse to make sure uh, you are putting away or uh, you are repelling the the, the the pest until the next ex episode subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can learn together bye